वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ लाभ्यू लिटरेचर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस पोस्ट स्ट्रक्चरिज्म फर्स्ट इट्स ओरिजिन इट्स डेफिनेशन इट्स डिफरेंस विद स्ट्रक्चरिज्म एंड देन वी मूव फॉरवर्ड टू डिकंस्ट्रक्शन सो लेट्स जंप टू द डिस्कशन पोस्ट स्ट्रक्चरिज्म इमर्ज इन फ्रांस during 1960s as a movement critiquing structuralism particularly associated with the works of jacques derrida and his followers in fact post structuralism is a literary and philosophical movement that both builds upon and rejects ideas within structuralism the intellectual project that preceded it though post structuralists all present different critiques of structuralism common themes among them include the rejection of the self sufficiency of structuralism as well as an interrogation of the binary oppositions that constitute its structures accordingly post structuralism discards the idea of interpreting anything within pre established socially constructed structures structuralism proposes that one may understand human culture by means of a structure modeled on language this understanding differs from concrete reality and from abstract ideas instead as a third order that mediates between the two building up on structuralist conceptions of reality mediated by the interrelationship between science a post structuralist critic might suggest that to build a meaning out of such an interpretation one must falsely assume that the definitions of the science are both valid and fixed this rigidity tendency to categorize and imitation of the universal truths found in the structuralist thinking is then a common target of post structuralist thought in simple words structuralism posits the concept of binary opposition in which frequently used pairs of opposite but related words or concepts are often arranged in a hierarchy for example enlightenment romantic male female speech writing rational emotional signifier signified symbolic imaginary post structuralism rejects the structuralist notion that the dominant word in a pair is dependent on its inferior counterpart and instead argues that founding knowledge either on pure experience or on systematic structure is impossible because history and culture conditions the study of underlying structures and these are subject to biases and misinterpretations a post structuralist approach argues that to understand an object or a text for example one must study both the object itself and the system of knowledge that produced the object post structuralists are most clearly distinct from their structuralist predecessors due to their rejection of the structuralism's reductivist methodology instead 
the pursue an infinite play of signifiers and do not attempt to impose or privilege one reading of them over another post structuralist investigations tend to be politically oriented as many of them believe the world which we think we inhabit is merely a social construct thus the basis of post structuralist theories lies in the belief of the inadequacy of language jack derrida's theory of difference proposed that meaning is inherently unstable due to the play of signs within language this is because that a signifier and a signified exist within language which provides the meaning of the word or phrase at its most basic level the signifier may be the letters f i s h which provide the reader with the signified the word fish which in turn provides a mental image of fish however the reader's image of fish may vary from a live goldfish or shark to a freshly caught trout or rows of john dory in fishmonger's window thus the interpretation that the reader lends to the signifier within the text is based upon the reader's experiences these experiences may be derived from prior knowledge which the reader has previously attained whether it is from a book film television or whatever thus intertextuality is viewed by the post structuralist as essential to the interpretation of the text and as such exists as strength rather than weakness however in the term post structuralism the post is used only in the sense of coming after and of seeking to extend structuralism in its rightful direction from the above discussion we come to know that post structuralism is a way of understanding the world by studying the relationship between language and being if post structuralists are correct in their theoretical assumptions then concepts or signifiers and the words or signifiers that we use to present them are constantly shifting in meaning thus language and our experience of the world are also dynamically moving in reaction to these meaning shifts for example just 10 years ago web were associated with spiders today almost everyone who hears the word thinks of the internet and websites available for viewing A key tenet of post-structuralist thought concerns the idea of perspective. In brief, each individual occupies a unique position with respect to his or her environment. In fact, our identity and world view is generated by an interplay of forces that encourages us to interpret experience based on our relationship to a specific situation now we move forward to deconstruction 
Thus, post-structuralism is in fact heavily dependent upon structuralism, and it is not so much a move beyond as a move through its logic. Derrida, whose texts are more closely associated with this shift, puts the point succinctly and offers us a convenient description of the emergence of this movement and its dawning force in 1960s, especially around 1968. At the time, structuralism was dominant. Deconstruction seemed to be going in the same direction since the word signified a certain attention to the structures, which themselves are neither simple ideas nor forms nor synthesis nor systems. Deconstruction was also a structuralist gesture or in any case one that announced a certain need for a structuralist problematic. But it was also an anti-structuralist gesture. However, it is fair to say that it is Jack Derrida who used Saussure's insights to develop deconstruction, a perspective that focuses on the lack of truth out there or at the center provide meaning. Let me explain this. Derrida showed that how all Western philosophical systems are dependent on a center. Sometimes it was dependent on God, sometimes on the self, sometimes on the unconscious. But structuralism had shown that the center is a fiction, merely another signified that has not been beyond language. Furthermore, Derrida focuses on the binary pairs that make meaning, arguing that rather than being polar opposites, each was dependent on the other for meaning and we might say for existence. Hence, he also showed how all binaries, one of the terms was always subordinated to the other. For example, man for woman, good for evil. To describe how meaning is produced, Derrida developed the term difference, meaning to differ and to differ. He focused in particular on the binary speech or writing, in which speech has been to provide a guarantee of subjectivity and presence in the history of philosophy and linguistics. Alternatively, writing is about absence, the absence of the speaker and what is signified by the written signifiers. Derrida calls the privileging speech and presence logocentrism. Thus, the above discussion shows us that post-structuralism rejected the theory that one could map the structure of a language or culture. It says that meaning is constantly slipping from one sign to the next. It also points out that signifiers do not produce signifiers. They merely produce an endless chain of signifiers. That's all. Hope this video will help you to understand post-structuralism in detail. In the next part of this video, we will concentrate on the practitioners of post-structuralism in different fields. So, have a good day.